last six or seven minutes that really started to kind of turn the game for you guys. We did, I got, you got a bunch of stops in a row and then made three big threes. Like, what, what went on? Yeah, there? I mean, obviously the stops were big. I really liked how I thought we um, stayed aggressive in our pace up the floor. I thought we, we you know, got the ball and Precious got the ball and gave it to Fred, you know, pretty much time and again, and we were running and pushing, and I think that helped us, you know, get a couple of not not transition buckets, so to speak, but some early offense, which we needed. And then I think Pascal just did a better job in the fourth of, of reading the situation, you know. Um, they sure did a good job on him. It didn't quite look like it did the other night. Last night it was, or the other night it was in the second half, pretty easy for him to see what was going on. And tonight it wasn't. Um, but he, he did finally make the adjustment. And then obviously we hit, you know, in the game on the line, we hit some really big shots. Pascal hits a turnaround. Gary hits a three, right? Those were, those were one possession to make them two possession buckets, you know, in the last minute, I think, both of them. So. Um, and our defense, the fourth quarter defense, was tough. It was just we were just doing the right things and and helping the right way and and making them take tough shots for the most part. You had talked before the game about needing to get more for Precious, uh, rebounding and running. Did you see that more tonight? You can get 16, 17 rebounds. Like, is that the kind? Really, of I didn't really notice him out there tonight, Doug. I mean, no, yeah. I mean, listen, he's uh, again. I uh, know that's that's a little bit of a explosion, right? Uh, or a lot of bit of one, right? But he does have that, you know, he's got uh, super, uh, blessed with super body and athleticism and power. And, you know, he, he you know, he should be a, a um, near double digit rebounder for us, right? And um, so he was going after him tonight, that's for sure. So you, know, you deliver a message to him and obviously he took it, is it? That's the kind of coaching you got to go with a young kid, keep hammering them on the knees. Yeah, I mean, listen, I think that um, it didn't feel right in the first couple games, right? He wasn't getting much of a run. He, he wasn't quite um, on opening night. You know, he didn't play much in the first half. It just didn't, like, it felt like he needed to come out and kind of regroup at half, and he played better in the second half. And, and um, you know, it just takes some time to figure out kind of where to slot him in and let him go. Now he played with tremendous energy. Like, like that is what I'm trying to get consistent because there's just too much there if he plays hard not to be productive. Two games you guys have won. It's sort of been the similar formula where you've made a big run late, kind of turn him over a bunch, push him late. When you guys are playing the way you want to and getting into people and playing with energy, is that sort of the form? I'm not obviously want to be ahead, but is that yeah. sort of indicative of you guys? having the kind of games you're looking for over 48 minutes? Yeah, and I think that, you know, we, we know we've got to guard and create some offense out of our defense. And in both those wins, it was at the right time. You know, fourth quarter D generating, you know, fourth quarter offense, which is a pretty important time of the game. And it just, it just, I don't know, for whatever reason, but it's good. I mean, I know you got to kind of feel your way through. You got to figure out what they're doing. You got to make your adjustments on who's guarding who, what you're switching, what you're not, and all that stuff. And I think we're, we, you know, it kind of takes us to feel through the game that way. But the main thing is, is are we pressuring the ball and are we guarding the ball well enough? You know, just, and I thought we did. I thought there was not as many. I mean, even the, even the times we did get beat on the drive tonight, they were pretty like flip high arcing layups rather than straight line drives where we didn't have any, you know, we were help was coming and they had to make some tougher shots and those you're going to have to probably live with. So we just did a better job of guarding the ball and rounding out the drives. Well, obviously you guys have a unique roster, but in talking to other people about the way you guys play defense, that's sort of the thing that keeps coming up that you guys make people have to adjust in unique ways and attack in different ways. Is that sort of what the ultimate goal is to try to just make it? as difficult as possible you yeah. don't have some of the typical things that teams do to stop at the rim and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean we're going to we're going to um, you know, I think that uh, you know, playing it hard, playing defense hard, but also trying to make them go not exactly where they want to, right? Is really probably our ultimate goal. OG only ends up with about 6 points, but yep. I mean you you he had to sit down there in the third with foul trouble and that's really the only quarter where they gave you a real 
issue offensively, it felt like. I mean, how important has OG been? This is one of those games I'm talking about. He was huge tonight. He had six points and four shots, and he was huge. Right? He really worked hard defensively. Really made a lot of you know made a lot of plays down there, and that's you know that's as tough an assignment as you're going to get right in this league. And he he just went to work, and I give him a lot of credit because sometimes when you're not touching the ball or getting offensive opportunities, sometimes your motivation wanes a little bit. But he didn't let it let it do that tonight. It'll come back around to him one of these nights offensively, I'm sure. How did you feel Chris looked today? I know awesome. he got in some early foul trouble, but awesome. Yep, I thought he looked awesome. He he was, uh, I thought he brought some speed up the floor. I thought he really ran fast, and that kind of um, uh, spreads to other guys, right? And uh, obviously he hit a couple shots. Um, no, I thought he looked good. I thought it was a burst of energy and uh, that we needed. And um, you know, anytime he's throwing them in from the perimeter as the extra pass guy, that's always icing for us, really. And but he can do it. I'm curious, um, the choice to not play that just when there were some foul troubles. Just wondering your thoughts on that or reasoning. Um, yeah, I just uh, kind of thought with uh, starting Christian and Scotty being out that maybe it was a night to play a little bit more traditionally in the er, in, in the in the middle of the game with with Kim and Christian kind of subbing for each other and then obviously um, you know Precious was playing so well that that he was the natural choice to finish it and uh, let us do a lot of things defensively with that lineup late but that that'll be there he'll be back Miami at the you know, 18 and 10 the other night, and then a career high in rebounds today. Is there uh, something about the weather down here that agrees with you, or maybe the who you're playing against? I think that's what it is. <laughs> I like the weather out here. The, um, how much emphasis is? Uh, I mean, Nick, I think the other day is saying he's really on guys to rebound. How much of have you kind of taken that on as, you know, a big part of of what needs to happen? I could hear you. So how 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 much has, you know. Kind of owning the defensive boards been a focus of yours uh, heading into the season, given you know the team struggled rebounding last year, and uh, you know twenty two rebounds is a that, um, I that's mean, pretty it's good. Just, it's just um, going out there. It's just the will to go get the rebounds, um, and yeah, that's that's really it. You know, um, go out there, get the rebounds, and just play. Did your phone, did your phone blow up after a twenty two rebound night like that? Um, yes. <laughs> yeah, my friends have been calling me. Some of them sober, a lot of them drunk. So <laughs> he mentioned, or Nick mentioned that uh, just having Chris out there was probably good for you too, and and sort of helped in the maybe in the twenty two boards. Did it feel like that? Like just another big yes, body? Yes. Um, you know, um, I've always been used to playing with another big body or a bigger body. You know, high school, college, other kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, so having him out there definitely helps, um, and. That way I could, um, you know, be a lot more, I could, um, what's it called, be a lot more versatile on defense, you know. Um, like switch, if I'm guarding a player, there's not a threat from outside and I could roam, you know, play a lot of help side, you know, between the gaps and all that kind of stuff, you know, yeah. kind of like anchor the defense and all that kind of stuff, so yeah. <laughs> 18 out of the 22 uh, rebounds that you had were defensive. I know you have some solid defensive goals going into this season. Um, how much do you prioritize defensive rebounding in order to achieve those goals? I mean, it's part of it. You know, like you said, you already said um, 18 out of the 22 are defensive rebounds. So for me, um, I have defensive goals in terms of like being one of those guys that's been talked about you know, on the defensive side of the of the ball game across the league. So um, that's just I think that kind of works or plays in the same. Um, things that I'm trying to, you know, accomplish this year. Is that like the top priority, like in terms because there's so many elements to defense? I like, mean, there's a lot of elements. I think the the most important one is um, um, stopping the player from scoring the ball, and, uh, and then of course finishing with a rebound. Did you have any idea how many rebounds that you had during the game? Did they tell you, or was it after when you? Um, I mean, at halftime, I knew I had ten. Uh, one of the coaches came up to me and told me I had ten. And I just sat there and I was like, why not go for 20, you know, so, yeah. Can you actually talk about the energy that Chris brings when he's playing with you guys and even <coughs> from the bench? Oh, I enjoy playing with Chris. Um, next time you guys, next time he has media, you guys should ask him how much I've bugged him to 
speed up his recovery process. Um, <laughs> there's nothing I haven't said to him. Um, I enjoy playing with him. Um, me and Chris, we have a, a, a really good um, um, understanding on the floor. You know, I know where he's at. You know, he understands why I play, I understand the way he plays. So we just have a really good connection. So I, I really enjoy playing with him. He brings a different type of energy, not just to the team, but to me. <clears throat> How about when, it just, when you and OG are on the floor together? Defensively, what, oh, it's, what, it's it's easy, you know. Yeah. Once I see OGs guarding someone, if I'm guarding someone, I just know they're probably not gonna get into what they're trying to get to on the, you know on the, on the offensive side of the ball game because it's just an easy switch, and then we're flying out the offense, and it's just right back to square one. Yeah, I was <laughs> definitely was. It's a pretty uh, solid last seven minutes for you guys, both ends of the floor. Is that kind of what? you need to do, need to get more consistently at, but that was a great finish. Yeah, I think so. I think uh, at least until we uh, smooth the ship out a little bit, I think, you know, we're going to be in a lot of close games and I think all of our games, whether we start that way or not, are probably going to go down to the wire, yeah. you know, all th four now have been within three points. So um, coming down the stretch, you got to be able to execute. I uh, was pretty happy with the shots we were getting, got some stops late and just was able to close out, make a couple plays. What is it about this group? Because you've been playing close games now for a year and a half. Like what? Yeah. What is it about this group that creates that kind of yeah. energy and, and intensity late in games? Well, I think first and foremost, you know, the talent level is pretty high. So on most nights, we got a chance to compete. We have a chance to win. And so you would like to see some growth in terms of executing and, um, you know, just closing out games down the stretch. And we saw that over the last couple of years. So. Um, so it's going to continue to be a process, uh, but I thought we did a good job of um, just making extra plays and I we really wanted to win, and, and that's what it takes. You can't take anything for granted in this league, and I thought we just had a little bit more of a chip on our shoulder, a little more energy, obviously, but it's a little bit more of a chip to, to pull it out tonight. The pass to Gary in the corner for the three he made, he looked, from our view, looked really covered. Yeah. Like, how did it look from where you threw the ball to him? Yeah, I mean, the window was big for a second, but uh, Gary's always open, so <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter what, it, you know, once he, if he catches it, he can see the rim, and so he's open, so okay. we don't really worry about him in that regard, but what a shot, man, and yeah. we've been begging him and begging him to get to the corner, so I got to make sure I keep rewarding him when he gets down there, and there's a lot of free money down there for him, so we need him to keep being a threat there, um, especially late game. We saw you point him to the far corner on a transition break, I think, in the, early in the second yeah. half, and he went right. He missed yeah. that shot. He but, missed it, but he's getting there. But that's where he's got to go? He's got to get there. Um, everybody has to get there, but he's out in front a lot, and I think we could just open up so much of the floor when we get to our spots, and uh, a lot of our issues have been with spacing and just finding the flow and the rhythm, but um, I thought we had a pretty good you know, flow for majority of the game. We got we stalled out a little bit there. They made a run, but you know that's, that's the NBA. And, and I mean, you take him off the floor, and that's really the only real sustained run they had against you. Yeah. How how important has OG been for you guys? Oh, he's big. He, he's a big part of what we do, and I think um, the more that we can just keep rewarding him for making the simple plays and the winning plays, like he's contributing so much to our team without scoring. You know that. Um, everybody wants to score, obviously, but there's so many other ways to help our team. And I know when his shot isn't going, he can get down on himself. But I just try to keep, you know, instilling him with confidence. And um, he made a big three for us late. Um, he made a lot of big stop, big plays. He's got to guard Jimmy. He's got to guard Bam. He's guarding Kyle. He's guarding Tyler Hero. Like we're gonna need him to do a lot. And it's not always gonna be just scoring. But um, I thought he, I thought he was great for us tonight. You know, in all the areas, you know, besides scoring. You look at Pascal, I mean, he's, he's offensively, he was a little, you know, it wasn't what we've seen the first three games in terms of converting buckets. Right. But, you know, a couple of buckets he did get down the stretch, a yeah. couple of passes he made down the stretch. Yeah. Um, and then getting to the line as much as he did. Um, that's kind of like a, you know, that's a kind of an all NBA type day yeah. when it's an off day. You're still yeah. totally affecting the yeah, game. Yeah, I mean, look, it's, it's, so it's 23, 6, and 9. You know what I mean? And I know he didn't shoot great from the field, but I think you just look at the shot creation and, and just being able to get to his spots. And, um, you know, in Brooklyn, it wasn't touching the rim. And today, you know, it wasn't going, but it's going to be like that. So we just need him to stay aggressive. We, we kept going to him down the stretch. You know, he's a ultimate mismatch. You know, any time down the court, we could find a guy that he can get a shot off on. And that little baseline going to his right, there's not going to be many guys that can guard that. So that's a great bailout, you know, in the fourth quarter execution to, to be able to go to that. I thought he was he was big time for us tonight. Made a lot of winning plays and, um, you know, just didn't shoot a great, but it's going to be like that sometimes. Chris, back 
in the lineup today, how did you see him impact the game? It looked like he brought a lot of energy. I'm just glad he's back on the court. He's giving, getting on my damn nerves. <laughs> just running around with all this energy and hasn't been able to play. So just good to see him back out there. I mean, four for five. Uh, he's a big spark. You know, that bench unit is going to need him. He's an instant offense. He can you know, guard multiple positions and just be a, a presence in the paint. So um, we're going to continue to to lean on Chris, and um, I thought he helped Precious out a lot. Those two kind of can play off of each other, um, especially when we go to our bench. Asking Fred how big that window was but to get the ball to you. Did it look big from your end, from your end on, that, uh, on that final three? Uh, I don't really know. It was just in the moment he made a good pass, and I just knocked down the shot. He said he's been, he said he's been sort of on you to get into the corners. I, I, I mean, is that natural for you to get to the corner? Or is it like, is that your spot? Where, where, where do you prefer to be? Uh, you know, anywhere my teammates need me to be. The coach has been harping it. He's been harping it. Run the floor, get to the corner. Even if I don't get a shot, I uh, shoot the ball well enough to even me running to the corner would make a man come with me. So if I don't even get the shot, just me going corner, give somebody else opportunity. So that's just to help with our offense. Yeah, there's points of that game where it looked like you were getting open look and open looks and open Wide looks. Open. <laughs> And the defense, uh, or I should say, and the offense was kind of struggling. And how frustrating is that as a shooter when you know everything's perfect and they're not going in, and then you come out in the fourth and you hit two huge ones? No, for sure. As a scorer that can shoot, it can be very frustrating. You know, obviously you put in countless reps and hours, but that's why you stay with it. Continue to believe in yourself. Continue to believe in your craft and your work. And you know, the rest will take care of itself. No matter what it is, keep head right. Teammates tell you keep going. Everybody believe in one another. So you know, it's that type of vibe.